April, Mohamed Morsi was sentenced to 20 years in prison for allegedly endorsing the attacking of opposition protesters back in 2012. At least nine were killed in the clashes. On Saturday, the judge preferred the death penalty for some defendants, including Morsi, in two other cases, with the verdict postponed to June 2nd. He will probably get the death penalty for the charges that accompanied fleeing prison. When the judge recommends the death penalty, it means that he believes the defendants deserve the maximum penalty. In the other case of espionage, it is normal to see the death penalty. However, it seems Morsi wasn't directly involved, so he might get life in prison or a lesser period for that. The list of accusations continues. Prosecutors have asked for the maximum penalty for Morsi for allegedly leaking national defense and other top secret documents to Qatar in his fourth court case. It's another possible death penalty. The fifth and so far the final trial is inciting the judiciary. It hasn't started yet. The judicial authorities promised a fair trial for Morsi. Such crimes require extraordinary proceedings, but the state and its institutions reject to take exceptional measures so as to absolve the state from condemnation by the international community. In all these trials, Morsi is still defined to the court. He stresses that he's still president. Therefore, he should not stand before any regular criminal court. The state appointed a lawyer for him to guarantee he's legally tried. Morsi might be receiving death penalty soon, but they're far from being implemented. So even if the state is in a rush, Morsi has a chance to appeal once and twice before reaching a final verdict. If the death penalties are upheld, which many legal experts doubt, they cannot be implemented before an estimated of two more years of trials. Aydel Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.